what's it like uh, for a guy like Nick, someone in your room, I think both from the same state, to see him get a scholarship? How was that moment? And that's my boy, Lappy. He's from Jersey. I remember I came on my first visit. That was the first linebacker I talked to. I was uh, coming out to know man, Indies. Lap had dabbed me up. He said, hey, what's up? You from Jersey, right? I said, yeah. He was like, I'm from Jersey, too. Like, automatically, just click. I feel like when we both from a state, especially like from Jersey, like, the connection is different. Every time we're in the linebacker meeting room, uh, not even just Lappy, me, Shane, Solly, and like, like we all like we all try to protect each other. We all try to when we do something bad, we all try to protect each other's name, just whatever. So it hit different when I just I saw him finally get that scholarship, and like, I just seen him doing his thing because I always felt like he was always the best, one of the best linebackers, one of the best like proficient linebackers and hardworking linebackers. So he more than deserved it for a long time. So. I'm really proud of him for getting it. Coach Narduzzi pointed out that uh, you guys did a really good job of stopping the run on Saturday scrimmage. Yes, what sir. what stood out to you, maybe individual efforts or maybe a collective scheme? What allowed you guys to be so dominant against the run Saturday? Um, just trusting. Just trusting the system, trusting the linebacker left to you, trusting the linebacker to the right, trusting the safety is going to fill the hole. So our defense is based on playing fast. Once you shoot the gap, you just got to trust that the – if you if I go right, you gotta trust that he go left. If I get this dink, you gotta trust that somebody protect the uh, C gap. And that's why I feel like we did the scrimmage. I feel like we all play full speed and we ain't hesitate. What's the challenge of playing at such a fast pace? That's how they how Pitt, how Pitt wants to win is being aggressive, but um, having to trust your guys when you're moving that fast. Well, you know a typical linebacker, he like to shuffle, play it slow, watch the dinks, watch the pulls, come back. So the problem with that is once you play fast, it's hard for you to see everything. You really gotta train your eyes to be up to speed. Like you see a pull, you, even though you're going full speed that way, you have to get a great uh, change of direction. So once you go in there, you got to quickly go there. You just got to be hungry. As long as you're hungry, you're going to get there. That's all it is, to be hungry for it. You know, everyone talks about it whenever they're a recruit, whenever they come visit Pitt, they're like, you know, the Steelers are right there. But like yeah. now that you're actually here and you see, like you can like watch them practice, like, like how cool is that or how unique that that's really an asset for you guys. Yeah, of course that's cool, but that's a that's also a great advantage. Uh, during the summer practices, when we'll finish practice a lot early, and the Steelers will still be out here. Uh, Coach Manny will grab most of the linebackers. We would just sit there and watch how they would uh, rip through the sled, shock the sled, and then we took their own drills. So we're doing what the professionals are doing, literally seeing it in person and then applying it to our own field. And then we'll watch them do their... Uh, the NFL team periods, like just going full speed, but not like thudding or trying to hurt each other, just being all professional with it. And it just helped us gain a perspective of professionalism. What did, uh, Pat told us that like the defense was like a little amped up to win the scrimmage on Saturday after the offense won the first scrimmage. What did you guys say? Was there any message among some of the leaders about how y'all were gonna play? Uh, we already know what it was. There ain't too much to say about it. We let them off on the first scrimmage and we had to, we had something coming for this next scrimmage for that well, previous scrimmage. How yeah. excited are you that next time you compete, it won't be against your own team, it'll be against a new team? I'm very excited. I'm trying to see what's going to happen this season. I just can't wait for it to come in sooner. I know our entire linebacker crew ready. Um, everybody in the media probably thinking we just lost a big one with Voss. But I feel like a lot of people have stepped up, not even just the linebacker room, but just the whole defense. You can see a lot of numbers change too. So a lot of guys that left, they got replaced with a lot of younger guys with their number changed, and I feel like we all ready that that we all stepped up already. We just ready. Is, is, there, is there an excitement for the fact that like both sides are winning? Like there's days the offense wins, days the defense wins, but it's like a it's like that level of competition is gonna play out this season. Yeah, sometimes I be forgetting that that's our <laughs> offense. <laughs> so I gotta get happy when a wide receiver catch a nice ball like that, or a uh, quarterback throw a good ball like that. I be forgetting that, but it definitely be exciting, especially if I see. Uh, one of mine is a wide receiver that I'm close to do a good play. Uh, quarterback that I'm close to do a good play. So I'll be excited both times. You know I'm already excited for the defense, especially when they make plays. I'm trying to be there all the time to just get some juice and always just be live because that's why I want people to be just full speed and just be live. Which quarterback are you closest to? I like Christian. He's he tough. But Phil, he's great too. They both just great. Anything else for Kyle?